assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system tutorials this is our lecture number 11 and in today's lecture i'm going to uh, do some corrections that uh, we have uh, seen in the previous lecture uh, the problems uh, the problems that are coming in the previous lecture uh, i should resolve it so how can i resolve it let me tell you and what are the things that i should still make uh, better so let's have a look what we have today in the patient's appointment window okay let's start all right guys so uh, that's our patient's window inside our clinic management system and the problem that was coming in the previous lecture was uh, when we are opening the table the turn number is not coming correctly okay so re so the reason was let me tell you first let me show you the data the patient's appointment data that we have collected in the previous lecture okay so edit the problem was the turn number is coming same again and again that was the problem so i have to resolve this problem with respect to the date so the procedure that was uh, that i have created was uh, insert patient um, appointment so insert appointment and then modify okay the problem is this and why is this the problem because i have picked up the date and time so whenever you are adding some new record so the date and time is not uh, the time is always changed so that's why uh, your data is coming always uh, every time as one one and one because on every different time the appointment is new so that's why date time is uh, creating a problem so what i have done i have created this thing i have break my date into day month and year and then what i have done simple i have just come here and instead of the date i have mentioned the things of the date separately let's say date with respect to day date with respect to month and year so i have omitted the time by dividing or by uh, breaking my date into parts uh, let's say day month and year function okay and the rest of the query remains the same every time now with respect to this day this date and this month and this year uh, the last record the last turn number will be picked up and the one will be added automatically and then stored inside the turn number so uh, this that's what i have done and now uh, execute this query so this query is already i have executed now what i can do i can update the parameters here inside my uh, code so let's go to the c sharp and go to the patient's window and uh, add the parameters that i have just updated so where i ha i should have to add the parameters uh, add the second query in insert appointment so at insert appointment here you have to copy this and paste it paste it and paste it and here you have to write at the rate day and then at the rate month and then at the rate year okay so three parameters i am passing and now uh, what i will do i will pick up the date from my this one uh, from my appointment date picker dot value and dot day okay so the day will be picked up from my current date that was selected and similarly i will pick up uh, copy it and then paste it i will pick up the month like this so value dot month okay and then i am picking up my year so value dot year so look guys i have eliminated the time with respect to the fetching of data only but here i am passing the time also so both the things are working together simultaneously so i hope it is clear to everyone now what what to do next now we have to run this code and we have to check whether it is working or not so let's start and have a look in today's uh, because today is the 23rd of april 2019 so i have already added one record uh, inside the patients uh, okay so uh, let me add another record any phone number and then okay let me give a phone number uh, that i can remember 123456 okay and then the patient name is let's say uh, bilal and then father name let's say khan i'm just showing any example okay so uh, day uh, age is 20 and the appointment date is 23rd april and the doctor yasir is the uh, person person who whom to he going to consult and now click save now it is added successfully now the data is coming but the problem is turn number is not applying not showing here one thing that you have to do the turn number that should come here and then when you click here look the age is not also appearing here so you have to do this also and if you wish to make it more better you can select 
or when you click here you can select the last appointment details as well so uh, let's do that and let's first go to the uh, turn number and verify whether the turn number is now coming correctly or not so let's go to the appointments and right click here and execute SQL so you can notice here now guys the second record that I have added today on 23rd of April the turn number is 2 so now the patients when you when the new patients are coming on this particular date the appointment turn number will be uh, automatically uh, incremented uh, from that query that I have mentioned here from this from this query I hope it is clear to everyone let me make it a little bit uh, more understandable by uh, breaking the lines and now I hope this whole query is in front of you so and the time is also appearing so now the time is not the matter of the for the fo uh, time is not the focus basically and if you notice here the ID is automatically incremented after 3 to 1002 what is this uh, this is because of the SQL server services so your SQL services ser server services are running at the back end so that's why this ID is automatically incremented with uh, 10,000 and 1000 and then the numbers so ignore it no problem if you if you wish to change this and if you wish more sequential manner then you have to do some tricks but I'm not going to demonstrate that particular thing right now uh, we'll see it later if I if I got time I will demonstrate that also no problem so I hope it is clear up till now that how can you specify uh, the turn number with respect to this now how this turn number will help you in the clinic management system you can print out this turn number that uh, this is your turn number and you can display that turn number on the screen on a big screen so that everybody can know which turn number is in progress right now uh, with the doctor okay so I hope it is clear to everyone now uh, what to do next we have to pass the aid also so go to the click event and here look age is missing so write here age text dot text and then select your age so raw dot cells of age gv and then double quotes okay so double quotes and then dot value and then dot two string so age will be picked up and now because uh, based on the phone number you are picking up the last details so have you get the phone number here also yes you have picked up the phone number so uh, based on this phone number you can again call that method where what which method on focus on focus leave so here at this point what are you doing you are just calling this okay so copy this code and come here on the click event of this so where's my click event here I have my click event so you can do this simple okay so whatever the text will be in the phone the uh, appointment record will be uh, fetched automatically inside the uh, the controls that are displaying here so let us check what is now happening and one more thing that I must do is the turn number I should display the turn number also before starting this program so close it and turn let us add the turn number also so uh, come here and edit columns and add a new column that is turn GV and it should display at very front so turn and then specify its read only and then click add and then close and then before patient you have to display the uh, or before ID you have to display the turn number the very first column uh, you are mentioning here is the turn number okay so what you can do now you can pass your turn number at the load list okay so come here and pass your turn number column at the very first column and then you have to change it to turn GV that's the first thing so let's go to this stored procedure get patients appointment registration so get patients appointment registration right click and modify and here the first thing that you'll select is the PA dot turn number as as turn okay and then comma so the first thing you have selected is the turn number and now uh, if you execute this so what will happen the turn is appearing okay I hope it is clear to everyone and all the records are appearing because uh, these patients are uh, still in the pending and then uh, pending mode and then when the doctor consult them we will update the status so that these records will not be displaying displayed anymore so I hope it is clear to everyone let us execute this query commands completed successfully and now 
uh, just come here and execute this let's see what will happen so uh, admin login patients view so the turn number is appearing and when you click here it is also appearing here and the rest of the things are also appearing here that the appointment date was 2 22 and the appointment date is 23 so the, all the data is appearing and when you click edit so all the things are come, uh, available for edit, uh, edit mode and but when you press the add button or when you press the edit button these things should not be uh, altered okay so you have to do this for that purpose what you can do you can um, you can make them disabled again when you press the add button so let's go and do some code all right guys so uh, the problem is how can you avoid these controls to uh, to stay away from the uh, reset functions so uh, we have to do another trick here so if you wanted to skip the controls that you don't want to be uh, validated like reset and enable disabled so what you can do you can uh, find any property that is global to every control so let us select let's say if we pick up another property let's say what is that property yes tab stop so i have three things selected and the tab stop is there in every control so uh, make it false okay so now the tab will not appearing here when you press the tab key these controls will not be selected one thing okay now what you can do when you go to the main class solution explorer and then go to your main class and here you have the reset functions so reset enable reset disable let us go to that okay so disable controls and this is enable controls and this is reset disable and this is reset and enable so i don't want to reset that control so you can specify that if you can specify if uh, not here not here cut it and specify here if tb dot tab stop is equals to equals to true or is equals to equals to false then do nothing okay if tab stop is false then do nothing else so copy it cut it and paste it here so what will happen if the tab stop is false then this control will not be resetted whatever whatever the value of this text box will be okay it will not be resetted similarly for the combo box you have to do the same so copy it and paste it here and what you can do you can write here if cb dot tab stop is equals to equals to false else come here and cut it and paste it here and likewise for radio button you can do the same so copy it and paste it else cut this code and paste it here so this is my reset enable function okay so uh, right here rb and that's it so if the re if the tab stop is false you cannot uh, do anything otherwise reset it and likewise the checkbox so for that purpose i am again copying this and i am pasting it here and then i have to close it at the end and here i have to write cb okay so i hope it is clear to everyone now let me zoom it more uh, the numeric up down yes here you have to also do this so if this is the case and then this and it should become at the top and then here you have to specify cb if it's tab stop is false then you do not validate it and then save it and then that's my button so copy it and here you have to paste and come here and here what you will do you will cut this and here you can paste it and then it's cb if the tab stop is false do this okay uh, and else if it's not false then make it enable okay and same is for the date time picker so if sorry do not do use this copy this code and write paste it here and close 
this one and come here at this if and write dt so if the tab stop is false here also do not do anything if it is not false then do the validation okay so that's what the trick a global dynamic trick that i have applied here uh, for enabling the controls and for resetting the controls same is the case uh, when we are doing the edit okay so when we are doing the edit the same things are happening okay so controls are going to be enabled so i have to check here also for text box for combo box for radio button for check box and all that so what i can do i can go here inside reset enable and copy all the code okay so you can copy all the code and paste it here inside the enable controls copy it and here at this point paste it and what changes you can do because that's your enable controls only so you don't need to reset it okay simple enable true color white and here you don't need to reset you don't need to reset and you don't need to reset this checkbox and you don't need to reset it it's fine and uh, no its value is it, it should not be reset and then that's a button button is enabled now date time picker it should not be reset and that's it so i hope it is clear to everyone uh, either you are enabling the controls or you are reset enabling the controls what should happen that controls that are uh, tab stop uh, is false they will not be entertained i hope it is clear to everyone so remove the extra spaces you have and then uh, here you have the extra spaces remove it and then um, all things are set okay now it's fine here is also an extra space save it and now rebuild your main class right click and rebuild so that it can be updated now uh, let us check what it, what is the, the effect uh, when you click the add button and when you click the edit button so login uh, met patients and uh, let me add a patient here let's say 000 000 and tab so the details are appearing and these controls are disabled okay these controls are not enabled all the other controls are enabled so you have you have done the uh, you have done the thing now uh, let's say if i view and if i click here so what was what is happening all the controls are disabled when you click edit so look these controls are not enabling because i have made their tab stop false simple okay and one more thing that you can specify here is the tab index let me um, go to the view and the tab order and then that's my first then second then third then fourth then fifth then sixth that's it and no need to go to the other stop uh, other controls and now click save and close this tab order button okay now uh, start the application and see what's happening so successfully we have done the task uh, of patients so whenever the patient will come uh, you can be able to add the same patient okay so let's check for the same patient let's say the patient come again okay on the same date so it should not be added one thing if the if the same patient is appearing coming on the same date so it should not be added and if you wish to add then you can add it again no problem but uh, you have to set criteria for that now uh, again dr yasir what's happened let's see its last appointment day is 23rd and its consultant is this and it's again okay so let's save it again so what's happening look so you cannot add the same patient uh, because uh, that patient is already added on uh, your particular patient registration so what you can do you can uh, update the patient registration details if the patient is already existing instead of this code in instead of this showing this error so unable to save the record let us verify the database is it correct or not so right click execute sql look the data is not inserted and inside this let me show the registration table and edit so notice uh, that 000 patient is not added once again so what you can do if the patient exist already you have to check and what can you do you can then update the details instead of insertion so close this code and come here and go to the patient registration window and 
uh, where you have to go uh, you are getting the details you are checking the details that the patient exists or not so what on what criteria you are checking the details here is the procedure here you are checking the procedure details that if the patient exists then uh, with respect to the phone number then the details are appearing okay so on this criteria what you can do you can come here and on edit you have to check first um, what you can do specify the things let's say all right guys so uh, if you notice here on phone leave I have called this procedure that is checking that phone record the patient record exists or not so what you can do you can copy this code here you can copy this code and then go to your save button at this point let me go to the save button okay here uh, so when edit is equals to equals to zero that means you are in edit mode and you can write here this code if the record exists that means uh, you are uh, in update mode else you are in insert mode so what you can do uh, cut it and paste it here one thing and then uh, what you can do you can specify this whole code also and cut it also and paste it here so what I have done let me close these things and now let me show you so when you are in save mode it will check the record exists if the record exists then what 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 will happen nothing will happen and if the record will not exist then the whole operation will be added successfully but but if the record is already there then you don't have to insert the patient again instead you have to insert and in only uh, you have to update the patient details and you have to uh, insert inside the appointment okay so copy this whole code and paste it here but at this point what you can specify you can specify the update so let us go to the update patient so update patients registration where is that yes here we have modify it and look all the procedure are same in fact this uh, name guard phone age name guard phone age and then the ID so copy and then the paste option and then you have to specify at the rate ID and where you can get the patient ID you can get the patient ID um, uh, with the help of this check patient record so let us see this get patient record so where is that check patient registration uh, let us go to the code of this function go to definition here check patient registration exist okay so I have opened the same procedure here I have picked up the name the guardian and all the things the doctor ID but I haven't picked up the patient ID so can I get here PR dot patient ID as patient ID okay so you have picked up patient ID also and then uh, execute this so when you have changed your this stored procedure patient ID at the first thing so you have to uh, go to your function this and go to its definition and here you have to put your patient ID somewhere so what you can do because you have already created the patient ID variable so can I write here patient ID that's the variable name and then the ID of the patient will be convert dot to integer 64 and then specify the DR of the name of the column is patient ID so copy it and then paste it and then dot to string okay so your patient ID will be picked up and stored in the pat ID variable that I have created in the previous lecture so now we're all set so what will happen if the patient exists already its ID will be picked up now uh, let's go to that code and can you specify here pat ID so based on that patient ID that name that the new details that you are passing well, let's say the patient's uh, father name uh, or the phone number is changed let's say so you can update that thing so uh, 
if you are if your results are existing then then remove this insert code and then uh, open the update query and copy it and paste it here okay so the records will be updated when the records will be updated get last id instead of this last id because now the you need the patient id so you don't need to use this one in fact you need this pat id i hope it is clear to everyone because now the records are existing already so the pat id is applied here okay and then uh, you are going to add your uh, insert appointment because you are adding a new appointment uh, for that particular patient now uh, what's next uh, because this is the code that is happened when the record exists else this is the code when the record will not exist else if if you are in update mode so here is also another thing so when you click here on the grid the data is loaded and then you are in the update mode so when you are in the update mode you have done all the things okay update patients and update appointment and all that the all things are remains the same now all things are set let us run this program and see what will happen login patients add or view no first add the records so let me add then existing record okay bilal is appeared last details are appeared okay uh, i am changing the name from bilal to bilal khan to let's say naeem okay and then the age is let's say 21 so the data will be data should be updated and then uh, you are picking up a new appointment for dr yasir and then click save so bilal added successfully into the system now there are two appointments for bilal okay one appointment is uh, uh, at 2 and the second appointment is at the turn number 3 i hope it is clear to everyone now you can add the same record or uh, the same record here inside the patient um, appointment and if you go to the table of patient registration and check how many bilals are there so look the bilal is only one but its appointments are many so it's the cardinality that i have created look the same id uh, let me show you the patient id uh, where is the patient id so here no that's not the patient id here is the patient id um okay let me refresh it yes look uh the same patient id but the two different appointments and the turns are also different let's say the patient is coming with some multiple uh, other patient so i hope it is clear to everyone uh, this is how we can set it now let's say if i click here and let's say if i edit here and the age let's say i am adding here 32 and then i click save so it said that fields with red are mandatory where is the field with red so there is no field with red so um let us uh, debug it why this problem is appearing uh when you click the save button to update the record so it's saying that field with static are mandatory so uh, go to the code for update here okay and now um uh, come here and save still it is saying what is the problem it is not going into the debug mode also why uh let us apply the breakpoint here no uh the breakpoint here because it is not going further so come here and then click save so you come in and then f11 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 and then because this is the check control okay so which text box is appearing here let us see uh, the age text box so it is not added in the list it's fine and then radio button check box numeric drop down it's a lengthy procedure to be debug the things now the next control is a radio button is not a check box is a date time picker no now the other control is now again the text box and now the value is not consulted that means um uh, it's uh, a text box uh, from uh, the status so the status text box is appearing here so allow drop is true so nothing nothing will happen it's fine and then the next control is coming here combo box radio button no 
and then the next control is a text box again and here you you see the dr yasser is selected uh, and it is also allowed drop so it it will not work okay fine and then the next control is no control and now the next control is a date time picker so date time picker allowed drop is true so it will not be validated it's fine and then the next control is label maybe that's why it it goes now checkbox numeric up down and then again combo box so which combo box is this let me see uh, that combo box will be okay so f11 f11 okay so still nothing is added so verify it okay look that's the thing that is added here it is adding because the value here is 22nd and it will be validated because uh, your picker was not in the correct mode okay so that was the case the uh, if the text if the value is less than the today's date then it will be uh, marked as validated so that's what the problem so how can we resolve that debugging is a very beautiful process you can find what's the problem so when you click when you click here okay the date will become the previous date okay and then uh, it will validate so how can you uh, do this task all right guys so let me show you the problem first and then we'll decide how to handle that problem go go to the patient's view the patient let's say i am selecting a patient of previous date so now the date is 22 and it will vali it will be uh, validated that uh, the last appointment date is 22 so it cannot be less than the today's date that is 23 and here you, you can notice uh, when you come here and edit so the appointment date is the previous date so that's why uh, the date time picker is showing me the error so how can i resolve that the only uh, thing that i am uh, i can do for the particular time being uh, is to remove that validation simple so if you remove that validation maybe it will work no problem so if it is a date time picker then remove this okay from the check controls uh, remove this okay so it will work uh i am doing this because uh when you update the data the data is not updating because it is validating that it it cannot be the previous date so so i am removing this code from the main class simple i am not going to validate this control so i am commented it commenting it so my date time picker will not be further validated i hope it is clear to everyone i have changed this code in such a check controls so save it and then uh rebuild it okay if i found some better solution i will show you inshallah no problem so build succeeded now let us start and let's see uh, is the data updating or not so login and then patients and then view and then when you click the previous record and when you wanted to edit let's say the age was 21 and then you click save then you come inside and then click Okay so updated successfully now the age of this sad is updated to 21 i hope it is clear to everyone and now uh, uh, that's all for today i uh, hope you have successfully created your patient administration window and now uh, uh, we'll we'll continue further uh, with the doctors window and the and the big screen where the turn current turn number is uh, displayed okay so thank you so much if you do not understand anything thank uh, do ask me take care allah hafiz